guys we're gonna jump right into detroit I hope you guys are enjoying if you guys are enjoying get this video to 10 likes subscribe to the channel if you're new and welcome to the golden empire baby i appreciate y'all stepping through the castle and turn your notice on so you never miss an upload or walk through our live stream our broadcast is all over the news now humans know it was a mistake to reach out to them they'll never negotiate with their slaves we should have shown them that we're prepared to fight violence is never the answer Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Maybe. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you That's enough! And now what are we gonna do? It's the first time I've seen this game below, but I'm not going live. There are five cyber life stores across the country. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, oh, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems, and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. I've been waiting a long time for this. Okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. Where's the one hill on going? The store's over here. say you are free that's what we are to them just merchandise on display in a shop window soon they'll know what we really are you go Simon Let's right there we'll stick to the plan and neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. It was 10 minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? A surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. I'm not behind now, so okay, that's not it then. Oh shit, I didn't mean to exit. <gasps> I'm seeing her wasting valuable time. Love you too far. Man, what the hell? 
Oh, this one looks like maybe it. I'm supposed to get up here. All I gotta do is execute the plan. You ain't new to that, Marcus. Come on. I hope it didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. You are free. That's Ralph. That's what it looks like. There's so much you gotta do. I'm so. Exactly what we need to ram this door. Marcus! What, girl? Damn. We ain't got ten minutes. Change of plan? I just want to make sure we didn't forget me. Yeah, fuck it.
I knew we'd end up doing something fun. Alarm! Loud as a motherfucker in my ear. We didn't deactivate the alarm. <sighs> the cops are gonna be here any minute. We gotta go. Wait, Marcus. We can't just leave our people behind. It's too late, North. We failed. We failed. What I? Fa <gasps> Marcus, we did it. All teams succeeded. Our people are free. We're heading back to Jericho. Shit. We screwed up. Our people are still prisoners in that fucking store, and it's all our fault. No, it's my fault. I missed this up. Yeah, I did. At least our other team succeeded. I should have been my first thought. I thought you knew what you were doing. I did what I could. I'm sorry that's not enough for you. No, it's not enough. This is a war we're fighting with the humans. If we fail, they'll destroy us. But the fate of our people is in your hands. You have to succeed. You have no choice. And I can't stand or she too bitchy. She too bitchy. Probably after this when I end it. This guy was all over the media when Cyberlife first started selling androids. I made a few calls. Here we are. What the hell? Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Excuse me, hold on. <laughs> okay. Thing went down a wrong pipe now. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. girl mm -hmm. you're right she's really pretty nice place guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody you're about to meet your maker Connor how's it feel Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. What would you want to tell him like he's a him? Elijah, we'll see you now. Hank, let me go for a sugar. What the fuck? Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. 
Have a seat, Hank. What the fuck? These androids got a good boy. Let me try to get in that water though. Damn. Oh, he in a pool. I thought that was Android. All these androids look alike. <laughs> Probably what he like. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Mm-hmm. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? Mm -hmm. Deviancy seems to spread like some kind of virus. We thought you might know something about that. Sir? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. Don't make me do this, my man. What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Sir? Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is what? whether machines are capable of empathy. Oh, shit. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. <laughs> Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? He's a plastic containing a human. We're a living being. With oh, shit. You got plenty of them, shit, so it don't matter, she da. It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. I'm gonna shoot that bitch, period. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spirit, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you. I gotta finish my mission. Gone. Your investigation or the life of this android? My mission. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Trust me, I'm gonna lay this motherfucker out. Free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you wanna know. I'm shooting this bitch. Fuck! Test negative. 
you choose your investigation of the life of another android, you fool no end. None. Sorry, Hank, I love you to death, though. I'm a man of my word. Ask one question, and I'll tell you all I know. Okay. I want to know where Jericho is. Jericho. A place where androids are free. Mm -hmm. A place for deviants rise up against their creators. They transmit a piece of code to each other in order to find their sanctuary. Now you have the key. Ferndale Station is the door. Yeah, with Connor's storyline, I'm a little bit cold hearted. You know what I'm saying? A war is coming. I had to finish my you mission. Choose your side. No, trust me, I'm gonna choose mine. Your people or stand against your creators. I'm standing against my creator, but for right now, I gotta I protect Hank. What could be worse than having to choose between two? Man, who side you on, mother? Got me to side in this shit. By the way, I what? always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. You shot that girl for fuck's sake. It wasn't a girl, Lieutenant. It was a machine that looked like a girl. You put your gun against her head and you blew her fucking brains out. I did what I had to do to advance the investigation and I'd do it again if I had to. You're a low life. You don't feel a thing, do you? A machine, that's what you are. You're just a fucking machine. Of course I'm a machine, Lieutenant. What did you think I was? I thought you... I'm a machine. Thank you, Hank. You just gonna leave me? Man, imagine being a whole bitch. Y'all, I gotta finish my mission, man. y'all right, we're gonna go ahead and run into the next part we're gonna end this walkthrough hope you guys did enjoy the storyline getting so damn good i can't stop playing it so we're just gonna end it right here jump into the next storyline and y'all stay blessed stay meditated golden empire finest goldie the great